Welcome back to Master Duel Replays, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for tuning on this video. I appreciate you. And if you like the content, make sure to like and subscribe and all that. Hope you guys are having an amazing Thursday. That's right. Remember, every Tuesday and Thursday, we put out these Master Duel Replays. Now, I'm running in ranked with, obviously, my hero deck. This is not my hero deck. This is my opponent's deck. And, you know, they are running a 44-card deck of heroes themselves. I believe they went first. And what happened was when I saw heroes, I'm like, ooh, okay. You kind of spitting with this. Obviously, they're running Super Poly, but they don't have a Starving Venom. Like, what, what are they running with Super Poly unless they just mean to fuse off their monsters? Unless they're thinking of running against heroes. And then, well, actually, no. It's hero and water, a destiny hero and a dark effect monster. So yeah, you technically can run super poly when you have water, dark, and dark. I need to see what this can do. Now, this was interesting. It was a two-turn duel, so obviously someone surrendered in this, or I got no TK off. Let's take a look, shall we? My first instinct going against this, when I first saw it, I'm like, a fellow man of culture. Yep. Uh, just as I predicted, my opponent is going first. Opening hand, we have Ash Blossom, Denier, Ferris, Fusion Destiny, and Cross Out Designator. Again, a pretty nice hand. They go first, and I see Ferris. So I'm going to go off King. Ferris, did he pitch Ferris? No, he pitched Increase. So he runs to Increase, so he can get that combo off. Increase to summon Vion, but I stopped him with Ash Blossom. He then mask changes into Dark Law. Gotta say, good effect there. Not bad. Sets one and ends. My turn comes around. I drew into Vion. All right, so I assume I use... I start with Fusion Destiny? Bold move, me. So Fusion Destiny to start. I think it's... I think it was because... Oh, well, since everything's going to get banished and... Yeah, that's what I did. That was my thinking. Considering I couldn't really send anything to Graveyard, I'll just work out of the Banish Zone. So we get DPE. He Forbidden Droplets, but... DP is a quick effect. I can chain link to that to pop my own DPE and his Dark Law. Forbidden Droplet just has no target at this point. Activate DPE in the graveyard. Send, activate Ferris, Sending Denier. And they scoop. And the best part is, you know what's funny? I can activate Denier. I could have continued extending. Activating Ferris, Pitch Denier, Summon Ferris, Get Increase, Increase Vion, Activate denier in the grave get him link away into extra hero cross crusader use cross crusader's effect to target a destiny hero get dpe back onto the field and then just have a grand old time the next opponent is a classic live twins deck live twins with downward magician ip mascarena access code talker i'll be real with you live twins they used to scare me keyword is used to once you play around enough live twins and you face plenty of opponents it's like okay Let's see your starting hand, and let's see what you can do with it. My starting hand, which is start with Droll and Lockbird, Cyframe Gear Gamma, Shadow Mist, Adjusted Gold, and Fusion Destiny. I've been starting with Fusion Destiny quite some times, and I only run the one. So I'll take it. I'm pretty sure I only run the one. I'll show the deck list at the end of the video, but fairly certain I only run the one. Now, Droll and Lockbird is a very good hand trap, because with Live Twins, I... I want to assume that they want to plus as much as they can. Link away into the evil twin that allows them to draw. I'm like, no, no, we're not going to do that. And, you know, we could also do Cyframe Gear Gamma to negate their first starter, which I believe was one of their Frost ones. But let's see how this turns out. They start They start with Live Twin Home, getting their... Oh, wait, no, it's not Frost, it's Kisa Kill. I think Frost is like a variant of Kisa Kill, if I remember correctly. So I use Cy Cyframe Gear Gamma and negate. They set, pass. My turn comes around. We draw Ferris. Now we do the Ferris Shadow Mist variant combo. We link them together. He forbid a lot of forbidden droplet starters for my hero deck to play around, honestly. But that's fine. I still get my draw from Shadow Mist. My Ferris gets negated. That's fine. What do I pull with Shadow Mist? I pull Vion. So I still have my normal summon. We still have the Vion strat. We send Militia. No. Oh, oh, pain, literal pain. That's right, this was this duel. Oh my God. All right, hero players, let me be real with you for a second. There's always that duel to where you pitch the wrong thing to the graveyard or you just misplay so bad. A lot can be said. This can be said for any duelist, but with hero players, come on, we, we should know better. We should know better. I should know better than the pitch liquid soldier, but it's fine, we rectify it. Grab Polly. Activate a Dusted Gold to get Dark Calling. 
Do we activate Dark Calling? No, I don't have anything. So we Fusion Destiny to send Denier and Malicious to get DPE. Now I can only I can only summon Dark Monsters now. So I... This is just disappointing misplays after misplays, but we can save it. I promise you we can save it. Ah, I forgot. Can't really do this one because there was no elemental hero on here. There was just vision heroes, so it didn't work. It only gave me the option for dangerous. We activate dangerous, sending draw on Lockbird. We get malicious and grave. Why would I have malicious and grave? Those are too malicious, but it's fine. It's fine. We saved it with Denier's effect. We saved it. I misclicked on Dangerous, but it's fine. Link these two away into Cross Crusader, and then we can get the DPE back out. A, the, the same play I told you what I would have done last round. Here comes the boy. The round is saved. And we Dark Calling to get my boy, Mally Bane, out on the field. This is an OTK right here. Do they surrender? Yes, they do. Everyone fears the OTK, fears the heroes. Next duel is Dragon Maids, mixed with Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal Dragon, and Blue Eyes. I'm pretty sure they only really do run these for Dragon Shrine, I'm guessing, because there's nothing here that really specifies, well, two level eights. Are you, no, you're level 10. The heck? Props to you. Props to you, you're making it work. All right, you're, you're gonna try and make it work. Okay, starting hand is Vision Hero. Increase, Mask Change, Cross Out Designator, Lightning Storm, and Forbidden Droplet. So, kind of a brick. So what do I do? I set three and I normal summon Increase. And that's it. Their turn comes around and they open with Dragon Maid Changeover. This is where I don't want to fight this. I immediately Mask Change into Dark Law. So I'm like, hey, anything you play is gonna be banished. Cool. So, if that's cool with you, that's cool with me. Dark Law hits the field. A fusion summon away into their boss monster, which I really don't like. Battle phase comes around, Dark Law goes bye bye. I'm for activate increase to get him down in the spell and trap zone. Now, this was a bit of a whoopsie on my part. Why did I activate that when I had Lightning Storm? I could have used Lightning Storm to pop, but they could have also used their Quick Effect to negate the, act negate the activation and destroy the card. That's what I was banking on, but I pulled Called by the Grave. They activated that for a reason, so I decided to Forbidden Droplet it. Now, they could have, if I remember correctly, they could have... Yeah, when your opponent activates a card or effect, Quick effect, you can negate the activation if you do destroy that card. They could have negated Forbidden Droplet, did they? They did not. They chose to not negate it. Which, in my opinion, was a bit of a misplay there. Because now that comes around and Lightning Storm, goodbye to both of you. And I set Call By. That's all I have. That's literally all I have. I am so terrified. Because I'm like, what is that face down? Apparently, it's not anything scary. I'm, I'm sure it could be like Dragon Maid Tidying. But pull Shadow Mist. Summon Shadow Mist, beat it for 1k, and this is all I've got. There's literally nothing I can do. So it's just it's just a regular old Yu-Gi-Oh card game. You know, back and forth, back and forth. Tensions are high. I'm riding on 69 life points. Help me. Fusion Destiny top deck. And they ass blossom, but oh, 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 oh I have options. I didn't use called by because if they did have cross out designator, I would have been able to, uh, they would have been able to negate it. They chain max C. I called by it. This is just a crazy link. I'm like, oh, you want to do that like that? I, it could have been either way, but I just wanted to activate cross out de designator over called by because if they had their own cross out designator, yikes. So they get to do nothing. They don't get to negate this. My DPE's coming out. Full blown power. Here he comes. So he hits the field in attack position. Then I believe I extend and continue with the malicious denier play. They've had enough and they know they're gonna get OTK'd. Well it's not it's not an OTK, but they know they're gonna lose the duel this turn, so they're just like, you know what, you got it, Chief. I'm done. The fourth out of the five duels is against uh, well, this is speedroids, I believe. Right, I'm looking at speedroids. Yes, sir. Now, I rarely duel against speedroids, so I don't really know how they work. I don't even know how I won. Maybe I 
I don't know. I honestly do not remember this duel. I don't remember winning against Speedroids. Let's look at this together. Starting hand, Increase Ash, Liquid Soldier, Raigeki, Mask Chains 2. My starting hand, Normal Summon, and go to Mask Chains 2. He sees a hero, he's like, hey, heroes, special summon like crazy. It's true, if we have our starters. I could have ashed it, but instead I just ended my turn. Either way, like if you see a max C, either you have, you have three options. Negate it, end your turn, or deck them out. Heroes probably could, but not any deck over 40. I, I, there's there's got to be some mystical, magical way to deck out an opponent with heroes. I just have not done. I have not done it. I don't want to do it. So they normal summon their speed their speedroid, Hakatumborg, and I decide to mass change two. I send my Raigeki and summon Darkloth. Now anything you do is banished. So you can do that. I ash it. So no summon for you. You already used your normal summon. And you're not going to tribute summon. So what else do you have? Nothing. Never lead with your normal summons. Unless that's all you've got. But you got to pray your opponent does not have an Ash Blossom. So I just decided to go into my battle phase. I don't normal summon either Liquid or Shadow Mist. Because I want to hold on them. I want to hold on to them. Because God forbid if, he, if he's got a Rageki or something... Or a lightning storm's gonna go cracked out of his mind. So he gets to pop off. He's link summoning into his high speed roid rubber band. A rubber band shooter. He can banish the synchro monster from the extra deck. Okay, he's trying to mill. He's doing all that. But everything is again hitting his banish pile. And with and with Dark Law hitting the field, if you try and like, you know, pull out of the draw phase, he can banish a random card from your hand. And the one he did was speed recovery. So I think that was actually a card he really wanted to keep. So he scooped after that. I love hearing that victory noise. Before I confirm this opponent's deck, I just want you guys to think on it. Pause the video and just think. What deck is this? I saved it for last. What deck could it be? What if I said it combined three different archetypes? Now, what are you thinking? Well, whatever you were thinking, it most likely wasn't anything like this. And Debian invoked Branded. Eyed a 53 card deck. He's got the Endymion engine and Fallen of Alabaz. He, 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 this man is quite unique. I didn't even know what I was fighting. I just, I just thought he started with Endymion. So I'm like, okay, cool. Endymions and Magistus. I could work with this. Then I see. Magical Meltdown, and Alistair, and I'm like, what? And Super Poly as well. So th this man, this duelist is going absolutely crazy. You know what they could also do? They could probably throw the DPE package in here. Get rid of one Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, slap in a DPE, Verte Anaconda, one Fusion Destiny with a, or two Fusion Destinies with Denier and Malicious, two Malicious. So that would bring you up two Malicious, one Denier, Fusion Destiny. Just make it a 60 card deck. Make it a 60 card deck and and slap in another package. Make it four. Make it four, man. <laughs> if you're gonna go balls to the wall on this, just go 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 all out, bro. I, I'd be here for that. I would be here for that. Okay, so I'm starting. Opening hand is Ash, Denier, Malicious, Hero Lives, Lightning Storm. This is not good. These two should not be here. I don't like having Malicious and Denier in my hand. And I don't like having a Hero Lives. Where's my E-Call? Either way, I think I open with a Hero Lives because that's the only one I've got. Taking a beating for 4k, getting Shadow Mist, and Shadow Mist is special summoned, so I get to grab a Mask Change for free. So I get Mask Change 2 because then I can also discard sending Malicious to Grave to get that extension, if you know what I'm saying. Their opening hand, they start with Mag Magical Citadel of Endymion. I'm like, okay, cool. Endymion, let me get my let me get my, uh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Oh, come on. There it is. Dark Law. I literally, this has been a Dark Law video. Hold up. Well, let me, I know what the thumbnail is going to be. Obviously, activate Mask Change 2, get Malicious in Grave, Shadow Mist goes to the Grave, and we get Shadow Mist's other effect, which get, lets me get Honest Neos. So, my Dark Law is kind of safe. Now, let's just go squ quickly through this. So, Endymion's. No matter what I tried to negate, they just kept building and building and building and building. But with Dark Law, he drew. He drew out of his draw phase. So what did I get? 
I hit his chicken game. So he's got Upstar Goblin. Gave me 1,000 life points. I appreciate it. He's building up his spell counters. And with this comes out his big boys. But he's not done. I see magical meltdown. My head is in my hands. And I'm like, my brother and Yami, what are you doing? I did not expect to see Invocation with Endymion. I haven't fought it. So he gets his Alistair, he normal summons Alistair, he gets Invocation, and he's gonna activate Invocation. No, he links summons away into Artemis, and then this is where he activates Invocation. No, he just continues linking into Predaplant, Verte, Anaconda. What does he do with it, Verte? I have no idea. But Honest Neo saves my Dark Law, just like I predicted it would. It gets, that gets banished. He's able to draw a Triple Tactics Talent. Main Phase 2 comes around, he activates Triple Tactics Talent. So now he takes control of my Dark Law, Uses Verte Anaconda to activate Branded Fusion. That's what he's doing. Oh, brother. Like. In his single turn, he went through. I don't even think he activated Invocation, actually. No, he didn't. So he, he went through his Endymion engine and his Branded engine and half of his. Half of his Invoked engine. All in one turn. So I'm just like. Okay, cool story, bro. Lightning Storm. My Lightning Storm is monsters. I already know the effect of Mirror Jade is going to destroy me at the end of... Destroy all my monsters at the end phase. But guess what? It's like my boy from, I believe, Arc V or Arc 5. There is no next turn! So, what I do is I normal summon Stratos to get Ferris. Use Ferris's effect to get Denier in Grave. So I can just start doing all this good stuff. He doesn't have any hand traps, obviously, because the deck... I showed you the deck. It doesn't have it. But there were also no responses. I'm just like, cool, I'm gonna pop off on you. So it's the normal combo, Shadow Mist to get Liquid Soldier. Activate Biome, we're gonna pull the Poly. I just banished Dark Law just because I wanted to. We still have, we still have Denier and Malicious in Grave for the extensions over there. I could still go further. So we activate to pull the Miracle Fusion and to get two cards, what I get for the two cards? I was so confident, I, did, I, I pitched the Ash. We got a Miracle Fusion. We have another Mask Change in case we want to go into... Do I play two Dark Laws? Do I play two Dark Laws? I do not play two Dark Laws, but I can also go into a Divine Wind or a Koga. I like a variety here. But I don't do that. I just Liquid Soldier and I and I Sunrise to death. I was right. There was no next turn because I was not about to run into Invoked and Endymions and Branded again. You know, props to you, Index Yuri. Props to you. You had the balls to make a three archetype deck. It was working for you. Pop off, King. If I ever run into you again, I'll let you pop off. I want to see your end board. Show me what I have to fight. That's it for this video on this lovely Thursday, guys. You guys have been amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. But actually, we are missing something. The deck list. So here is the hero deck list that I ran in this video, guys. It, it's never really going to... I mean, it changes all the time but for these replays this is the deck variant that i had do you like it we start with our little hand traps of gamma and joel and lockbird so one side frame driver for the gamma effect combo one joel and lockbird two increase i know i said in my previous videos i always switch between one or two but i get i have two now two ice blossoms because i don't run three because I, that's just going to cause a brick for me because I, I i would pull in this five card drop there's um, I, I start with it a good amount of the time. Three. If I run three in the deck, I start with two in my starting hand, and I don't need that. I only need one. Or I only need to pull one, so the two in there is a good percentage for me. Denier, one. Two Stratos, two Vion, two Shadow Mist, one of Gold, one Liquid Soldier, two Ferris, two Malicious, one Honest Neos, one Red Geki, one Harpy's Feather Duster, one Poly, one Miracle Fusion, three Emergency Call, one A Hero Lives, one Dark Calling, one Fusion Destiny, one Lightning Storm, two Mask Change, one Mask Change, two, one Called By, one Cross Out, two Forbidden Droplet, and a Royal Decree just for the Eldlet archetype. You know, because that card in a previous video, if you guys haven't seen it, please go watch it. That single card stopped an Eldlet player from playing. It's too good. And yet Red Reboot and the TCG gets hit. Mm, okay. Extra deck consists of one Gaia, one Dark Law, one Dangerous, one Sunrise, one Absolute Zero, one The Shining, one Acid, one Escuridao, one Koga, one Divine Wind, one Malibane, one DPE, one Wonder Driver, one Cross Crusader, and one Dread Decimator. You guys can copy this deck list if you'd like. 
or make variants of it. Let me know if you guys run heroes. I love to meet and duel my fellow heroes and see how you how you stand up against me. And if you guys have some cool hero combinations or like pure elemental hero, pure mask hero, whatever you guys run, let me know down in the comment section down below. Let me know if you think I'd enjoy them. You know, either way, guys, I've been Rev. I hope you found this video entertaining. I hope you found Dark Law just just running the show in this video. I did not expect all five to like, I'm pretty sure three of the five or four of the five duels had Dark Law in it. That, that was just spectacular. Dark Law is such a must in hero decks. Just for the banish effect and that he can banish one random card. Oh, baby, it's too good. I'll see you next time. And remember, keep being awesome.